When I first started vlogging, it was the point and shoots, holding it like this. This is what my wrist was like. Do you have any idea of the arthritis that I developed? None, because I eat healthy. Take that. I was vlogging on super zooms and shit. And the wide angle is usually like 26 mil, so your shot ends up being like this. Every pore in the face. Are you enjoying the world around me? It's such a conundrum because the closer you hold your camera to you, the better your audio is, but then the dumber you look, it's just your face. And you can't even see anything. You see like one blurry leaf wagging in the wind. So tripods were invented because of this for vloggers. Many have debated what the best tripod is. Wars have been fought in. Let us not forget the great tripod war of 1847. A lot of men died. But the victors got to choose whatever tripod they wanted. So today we talk about the three best options and the new kid on the block, SwitchPod. Is it worthy of our consideration? Does it supersede? I don't even know what that word means. So let's just move on. All I want is the perfect camera. So most YouTubers just follow the leader like a sheep. They don't care if he's going off a cliff. He's like, oh, we're going off the cliff now. Okay, let's do that. I used to be that sheep. I saw Casey Neistat. He had his gorilla pod. I thought that was the only option. I was like, okay, we'll buy one of those. And I did. Do I regret it? There's no such thing as a regret in life, my friend. Except this bendy ass piece of shit. The problem with the gorilla pod, first thing I don't like, I've ruined videos because of this tripod. The head is loose no matter what it's shaking it shakes in there i'm using separate audio but i was just vlogging like this once and just this little bit of shake was rattling the loudest thing you've ever heard in your life so it's like the build quality is shit and these legs i've never had a problem with it probably because my camera weighs 114 grams but i put this one on there and i don't notice the legs like no longer standing up, that's a big complaint. But I take care of my gear. I don't throw it in a bag and throw it at my cat and see if he'll throw it back to me. I just use it. So after using this wobbly piece of shit for a while, the Joby Gorilla Pod, I was looking for something else because I got this bad boy and it's a 50 mil equivalent lens. And I was just so laser focused on getting a blurry background. That's all I saw. I was like, okay. This can be done. F0.95, I think I underestimated Micro Four Thirds potential to get a blurry background. It's not that hard. <laughs> so with the 50 mil equivalent lens, I was researching what the longest tripod was. And it was this one for the size, for the mini ones, 16 inches. That's what she said was too much for her. So that gets you out there. Then it's like somewhat doable shot. It's just super uncomfortable. And there's a serious design flaw because this extended out. That was the whole point. God damn you. When it's tucked in like that, this is all very smooth and soft. It's rounded. It's amazing. It's comfortable. So like doing that, yeah. But I needed longer. So I saw that it extended out and I was like, well, look at that. Look at that reach now. Do you have any idea how uncomfortable that is? On the other side, it's all indented, sharp fucking edges. So every time I make a video with this, it ends up my hands are red. People are telling me I have diseases. <laughs> I've got comments before. It's like, oh, your hands are red. Looks like you have heart disease or something. You should probably go to the hospital. I'm like, it's just a tripod. It's tripod disease. It's not that serious. But even with that flaw, I think this is the tripod to beat. It's solid. It's all aluminum. It's like everything just works great and it extends down really low. Links are down below, of course. Let's all celebrate with an affiliate link. Cheers to you. You're not gonna buy it. I think it can go even lower if you remove one of these posts with Allen keys and shit. I don't know, but this is pretty much good to go and then back up to the top. So it has some flexibility and that's the only thing I worry about with this new SwitchPod coming out. It seems like the SwitchPod 
is going to be more comfortable than this to hold. It's like designed to be held by a vlogger. Like they know what they're doing. It's got the grooves. I don't know. I've never held it myself. So I'd have to say, see if it is comfortable, but I like the design of it, how it's just, it extends out from you. So you don't have to do it with your wrist yourself. Like that gets uncomfortable. Whereas with the switch pod, you could bring it in a little, your wrist is more in an angle that is beneficial to your wrist health. And then it extends out a bit. For vlogging, I would say go with the switch pod over this. But the problem ensues when you need to do something else with your life. You swing out your switch pod and then it's stuck at that height. You can't adjust it. It might not be a problem. It probably isn't. I mean, cameras do tilt. They don't have a ball. Head. I wish they put a ball head on it, but they assume we have to buy it. So you do have to buy a ball head for it. So that adds an expense. I don't love that, but say you buy a ball head. Okay, so it's too tall, you tilt it up. Do you want that in your life? Angles matter, my friend. You ever come at it from the bottom where you're you just got it. Okay, we're moving along. In my opinion, the Joby's out. It's a distant third place. I wouldn't even recommend it. The build quality, not up to snuff. This, it's between this and the switch pod, and it comes down to comfort in the hand. If you're hand holding mostly, I think, see, I've never held it, but I think the switch pod is more comfortable. That's important. I mean, you get all these red things in your hand. It hurts. It literally hurts. And then the whole flipping out thing, I don't love that. I don't love it. One, that could F your audio. Even though you're gonna cut that part out, I edit my audio, and if we got spikes in there, that's an extra step that I gotta cut that part out and then edit the rest. That whole flipping motion. All you gotta do. I know, I know. I don't love that. And it's not like this is hard, like you're vlogging and then you wanna put it, you just like do a little flower thruster up in the bottom there and then you set it down. It probably takes a little more time, but like how much time, like four seconds and eight seconds didn't ruin your life. You didn't miss the bus because of that. You could, I have, that sucks. Some bus drivers will wait for you. You can always tell a happy bus driver. He'll be like, oh, look at her. She's late for work. Come on board. And then the other one is in a bad mood. He's like, yeah, fuck you. Aims for the puddle. Yeah, take that fur coat, you bitch. Hope you're late and get fired. If I'm being 100% honest with you though, I would still go with this. It's more flexible just because you get that extra height if you need it. And it is actually very comfortable once you flip it back to the regular position. This is how it was designed to be held. And then you get a wider lens. You don't vlog with a 50 mil lens like me. And then you're good to go, vlogging the sky. That's what we should do more of. Is there any plane vlogs out there? Oh, there's another plane passing overhead. The chemtrails, they'll get you every time. I do like that the switch pod is a little lighter. This one's like 400 grams, that one's 315. It matters. You start adding a bunch of stuff, lenses, the microphone, gets to you. Gets to your mind over time. But there's really, I've had zero problems with this thing and it's red, take that. So I don't know that I could re recommend the switch pod. You'd have to try it. It is annoying, like you have to, the legs don't lock in, so you have to switch the thing. Very un-switch pod-like, you know what I mean? So it definitely takes some more workings, but it is more flexible. And that's the key to life, my friend, staying flexible, adapt, Adapt to your surroundings like a chameleon. You'll know success. So I don't know, I would order one to test, but it said it wasn't shipping till like August or something. I could be dead by then. You never know what the hell's gonna happen. Something new might be announced. Are there other ones too? I've seen a couple others, but it seems like this is the one to beat. If you have any better recommendations, post it down below. But I don't think I need a longer one anymore. Just get a wider lens good to go you're good to go so it's a good idea switch pod 
try it out. I would try it. If it was in the store, I would hold it and walk around in the store with it and see. I don't care the price. And you, like when you're talking about like 30, 40 dollars, it's like who gives a shit? Things gonna last you like 20 years probably. People try to save the money on the dumbest things that last forever. That's why Leica cameras are so stupid. I just thought of this the other day. Somebody commented and they were like, Leica cameras last forever. The build quality is amazing. And I was like, the technology inside it is obsolete after like two years. Why do you want it to last forever? Got you. Checkmate. Checkmate, my friend. Y'all play chess? Even if you don't, you get it. So. We're done. Thank you so much for buying a Camel Conspiracy shirt. Or a Monkey Strikes shirt. If you know what that's all about. Subscribe for more videos. Links are down below for everything. Except the Switch Pod. I'll put a link. I'll put a link down there. Help a brother out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you <laughs>